Today I'm going to be breaking down the Howard University College Air Jordan 23 PE. Oh yeah, and if you didn't know by now, my name is DJ and this is the DNA Show. Hey. Now before we get into all the styles, cuts, and details of this sneaker, we got to talk about the history first. So a couple years ago, Jordan Brand announced that they were going to be sponsoring the HBCU and it was Howard University. We saw a ton of rollouts when it comes to the videos and images and there was a lot of hype around that. And the first model that they dropped, my favorite, the Air Jordan 6s. Following that in 2023, Jordan selected eight different colleges and gave them all Air Jordan 1 lows and Howard University was on that list. I've done a full in-depth review of the Air Jordan 1 low and some say rumor has it that they're going to be releasing the exact same model which we never see happen so we'll see what happens later in the year but either way in 2024 we then saw the Air Jordan 23 hit the scene. So let's go ahead and get into the packaging and everything that comes along with the unboxing process and then I'll show you guys all the details of the shoe. So starting with the box right here you have honestly a very simple box when it comes comes to this pair in particular. Now, when it comes to PEs, they don't really do that many special boxes. And sometimes they do, depending on if it's like a special occasion or something like that. But a lot of the college PEs typically come in a black and gold box or that numbers box. Like for example, if it was the sixes or the fives or something like that. But either way, black box with the gold jump man. And then on the size tag, this one actually has a better label in particular, but you have Air Jordan 23 Retro P, College Navy, College Navy, size 13, just for me. And these never actually came out to the public. This was not like a retail release or anything like that. You had to actually get these from a friends or family or a player or somebody on the band or somebody like that that was at the school. Now peeling back the paper, you have your all over print with the gold 23 on the white paper, and then you got the shoe. Oh, you got the shoe. So when it comes to first impression, of this sneaker honestly I was very excited when I got a sneak peek early photo from one of the players and then when I saw them in hand I like the shoe even more now me personally I love 23 so this might be a little bit of a biased video but I'll try to keep it neutral as possible now for this PE in particular this is one of 10 different colorways Jordan brand decided to do damn near all the college I think that's every single school that's currently under Jordan brand right now there might be some more I don't know correct me if I'm wrong but either way the dominant schools they did 10 different models models of the 23 PEs. You had Howard, Marquette, Houston, Michigan, UNC, Florida Gators, San Diego State, Georgetown, UCLA, and Oklahoma. And speaking of Oklahoma, I've already done a full in-depth review on this Oklahoma 23 PE. So if you want to see this, make sure you guys check that one out after this video. I'll be sure to link that for you guys. And we will be showing you guys some comparisons and differences between these two because they actually did do some switch ups on these models. Starting with the outsole, you have your classic Air Jordan 23 bottom. You have your white rubber on the front and the back end, showing that footprint of the toe and ball of the foot on the front end and then the heel on the back side. And then you have your carbon fiber shank plate in the center of the foot. Now just above that, you have an additional clear plastic piece that goes over that area, and that wraps up to the midsole, which is connected all the way around to the front end of the shoe, molded into two different pieces. And this also wraps up to the vamp area on the center of the foot. Now this whole plastic area with these rigid edges and the diamond-like shapes, that's gonna be the same to the Air Jordan 23 like we've seen in the past. Another dope detail that I love about the Air Jordan 23 is, if you look very, very close right here around the toe area, you can see there's a navy leather, but if you look even closer, you can actually see Michael Jordan's signature here in a metallic print all throughout that toe area. Continuing on with the vamp right here, you're gonna have an all white patent leather with the perforations going up the center of the foot all throughout the tongue. And this gives you a very elevated dress shoe vibe. Now behind those perforated holes like you see in the center of the foot, you're gonna have a red material in there. So you just see in those small details, I like how they added that splash of extra color to help give it some more depth and separation. These come standard with a pair of all white laces and then you have your navy lace holes right here going up throughout the foot. And on the side panel, this is gonna be be covered with a navy suede and then you're gonna have an image of the bison raised up on the exterior side of the foot and going to the interior side of the foot you can see you have the HU embroidered with the diamond stitch and I love how they added this college branding with this on both sides of the shoe now just below that you're gonna have a red stitch that's going all around the bottom end of the suede and then also on the back end here where you have your tab you're gonna have additional red stitching there but on the top end right here you're gonna have a triple stitch of the navy embroidery all throughout that section and that's gonna transition into the college here which is covered in your red material this print and style is going to be something that's standard to the Air Jordan 23 like we've seen from the past so I like how they kept that element there and then also you see that same kind of style here on the inside of the foot now I talked about on these college PEs and the new modern day retros of the Air Jordan 23s they just don't feel as comfortable and as soft 
as the pairs from the past. So there's a pad right here on the inside of the ankle area and it's a lot more stiff. It doesn't have as much cushion to it. At the top of the tongue right here, you're gonna have your Howard Bison branding, red text with the bison in navy. And that's gonna be bordered with kind of like a little print around that area. And you're gonna see that same logo on both shoes. Now on the back end of the tongue right here, you have a navy text and it says HU for Howard University. And it says, you know, and I don't think it's meant to say like, you know, I think it's more like, you know, like, you know what I'm saying? Like one of those type of vibes. Now, when it comes to the sock liner on the inside of the foot, you're going to have an all Navy sock liner with a red jump man. And that's going to be on both of the shoes. And when you take these out, looking at the insoles, we talk about the polyurethane insoles, the dream cell, all the different stuff. This says a Durapontex and you have one at the front and the back or the top and the bottom, whichever you want to consider, but that's going to be a blue pad here and here at the ball and the heel of the foot. These aren't the most comfortable initially but I'm telling you right now when you start wearing 23s and you kind of break them in they feel really good That's just my personal opinion Let me know how you guys feel down below in the comment section when it comes to rocking 23s So like we talked about earlier You have the Howard University Air Jordan 6s and the Air Jordan 1 lows and now the 23s The question is what's gonna be the next model to come after this now We have seen the trend of every school getting the same models and Jordan brand bringing on more schools Which is causing more college PEs. I'm interested to see what the model is going going to be next now we haven't seen the air jordan 7 yet with college pe's for the broad audience we you know oregon ducks they're like in their own lane but for everybody else we haven't seen that yet so i'm still putting a bid in my guess is the air jordan 7 what model do you guys would think be next let me know down below in the comment section now when it comes to comparing these against the oklahoma air jordan 23s there are some differences between these you actually have the ou the oklahoma university logo and branding that's going to be in text on the outside of the shoe so the oklahoma the sooners they have an image logo but i'm not sure why they went without using it maybe it's because they don't really use that logo often and they just use the ou so i can understand that but i really like how they use the college mascots on the side of the foot. For example, the Bisons, the Gators, UNC, different stuff like that. To me, it looks really dope. So for the most part, everything else on this shoe is gonna be very, very similar when it comes to that aspect. Now looking at the inside of the foot, you can see you have the OU embroidered right there. So that's gonna be identical that part. And then you got the logo on the tongue and then you got Boomer Sooner on the back end of the tongue on these. So I've done a full review. If you guys wanna check these out, make sure you guys do. But I just wanted to show you guys the slight differences between OU and Howard and how they they kind of stayed consistent with it, but changed a couple things. So if you guys want to see any other in-depth reviews of other college PEs or rare samples and exclusive models that you have never seen before, make sure you guys check out the playlist that I've created filled with samples and PEs. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button because I got a ton more of these shoes in my collection. And I can't wait to give you guys more in-depth looks like this. I would never let you down. Yo, if you made it to the end of this video and want to take your collection to the next level, I built a full community with private meetups with me and other members in the community as well. So if you wanna be a part of that and get early access or behind the scene looks on how I run my businesses, this is definitely gonna be a place where I can help you scale your collection and potentially start investing in other things outside of sneakers like real estate. So hit the link down below in the description and get signed up and I'll see you guys on the inside. It's in my DNA, hey, the only choice I like to make what I'm aware today. One one I would never let you down, it's in my DNA, the only choice I like to make what I'm aware today. I was made for it, it's in the DNA.